Since the objective of all my training, again, whether it's Final Cut or After Effects or even Maya Studio Pro and 3D Studio Max and all, every program I teach, I share with you production techniques, real world applications. I don't teach from a book, I teach from experience. In fact, I've never read a software book in my life, I've never taken a lesson, I am completely 100% self-taught. So that's why I know I share your pain when you're pulling your hair out at two o'clock in the morning, why doesn't this thing work? Because I made those mistakes before. I didn't learn from some professor at SBA or Parsons or Pratt, which to their credit, they're great design schools. Quite frankly, they are great design schools. They just totally suck when it comes to software training. And how do I know that? And how can you possibly say that, Robert? Because every year I get hundreds of students at my studio in New York City who went to Parsons and Pratt and the new school in Caltech, and they didn't know the software. They had a great portfolio. They can do things by hand, but when it comes to software, uh-uh. So again, pay attention to exactly my techniques. I will guide you every step of the way. So here's what I'd like to do before we continue with our video on building the MySQL database and of course making a password protected login form. Now assume that, and this is a good assumption, that this is my new website, great, but I wanna say under development coming soon. And perhaps I'd also like to put maybe a contact email and, and pre-populate the subject line, which I will share with you. It's a great, great technique. One of my biggest pet peeves is to get an email from somebody with a blank subject line. That typically goes right to your spam folder. In fact, I have a policy. If you're so disconnected with your life and you can't take 10 seconds to fill in the subject line, then quite frankly, I don't even want you for a client or anything else. It's really that simple. Now, to dead on that statement, I never have an email on any site or any promotion or anything I do that doesn't have the subject line pre-populated. Now, the wacky thing about that is even though I pre-populate my subject line, I still have people that select it and delete it. I mean, you must be out of your mind to actually go through the effort of actually deleting the subject line. And those type of people, I don't deal with. So let's move forward. So what I'm going to do here is share with you a very simple technique. We're not going to go into my, we're not going to go into CSS, but I just want to share with you how I can make this site look a little prettier at this point. So changing is modified. Modify change command J page properties. So based on these choices, we're going to do a few things to this particular page. And again, here's the objective. I just want to say welcome to our new website on development coming soon and put a contact email there. So we're going to change our default font to Arial. By the way, this defaults is, defaults to Times Roman 16 pixels. Okay, and just because we can, we're going to change the background color to this pretty little bluish color right about there. So if I hit the apply option right now, this is what I have. Now, in addition to that, we're going to basically go to our appearance HTML. We're not going to do anything here, but I do want to change the text links. So I want my text link. To be, uh, to be black or gray, and I want my uh, visit link to be orange. I know that might be a horrible color combination, but hey, it's my class. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the links, and I don't want my links to have underlines. So I'm gonna say never underline. And again, these are simple, simple techniques. Now, I'm not gonna speed through this, but I, this is not what this course is about. I'm just sharing with you some very basic techniques. I have full courses on this, of course, on udemy.com, and I also have some free videos that go into this as well. So the only thing I wanna do here is change my heading, which I'm gonna turn this into an H1 tag. And I just wanna make that uh, 2.5 M spaces. And I just wanna change the color so it's going to be, uh, let's change the color so it's yellow, so it'll really stand out. Yellow is a good contrast to this color. So that's all I'm gonna to do to this, and I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, so now if I put my cursor right here, and for those of you that are new to Dreamweaver, that's fine. We can simply change the format based on these choices format. And based on these choices, we're gonna pick header one, H1. Now a simple way to do this with shortcuts is simply command one, command two, command three, command four, command five, command six. On Windows, it's control. Now, where would I get that? Where would I format and get the shortcuts for that? Well, based on these choices under format, format, paragraph formatting. So the shortcuts are right here. Command one through six is header one through six. Of course, if you're on a Windows machine, that says control one through control six. Now, in addition to that, based on, uh, so if this was a word processing program, 
So this is my property palette. So I'm going to click right down here under CSS. And again, I'm not going to talk about writing CSS. I'm just going to share with you a very simple concept. We're going to put this in the center of our page. Now, if in fact you don't want it to be that size, and I can go down here and change that. Let's go ahead and make that two, as in two M's, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now, the other thing I could do too is I can go back in and make this, I can edit that rule. So based on these choices, I'm gonna edit that CSS rule. And I'm just going to choose based on these choices. We're gonna click right here, and here's the rule definition for H1 that I created, by the way, when I went to modify page properties. So just because we can, we're simply gonna say make this capitalized. So it's gonna capitalize each word. Now I'm gonna hit the return key, and I'm gonna put something like on development, under development, and if I learn how to spell, coming soon, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I probably shouldn't have bored you with that. So the only thing we're gonna do here, we're not gonna stylize that, but we're just gonna put this in the center. It's really, really that simple. And I'm gonna hit the return key, and I'm gonna type in contact us. Now, if you really don't want to, you know, write code or all that stuff, here's a very, very simple way we can make this an email. I basically click this paragraph by clicking right here. Here's my tag selector. Now again, this is not an intro to Dreamweaver, but I'm just sharing with you some, some basic understanding of how to do this the right way since you're already here. I'm gonna select the P for paragraph. Then from the insert menu, insert email link. Anything about insertion is under the e. insert menu, insert image, insert flash files, insert QuickTime movies, insert a form under the insert menu. That's how the software thinks. Pretty cool, makes sense to me. So we're gonna put in here the email address. Now, we're not gonna put the code for that, which is mail to colon. We're simply gonna put in the email address. And I'm just gonna say contact. Now, guys and girls, I, 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 there may be a website out there called my mysite.com. So don't be a wise guy, wise person, wise girl, and con actually contact these people if in fact that website exists. So just don't do that, please. Because years ago, because I do, you know, I have thousands of students worldwide, and unfortunately you get some, I hate to say the word, but you get some knuckleheads. And they actually start contacting these people, and then I get hate mail, why are you sending, and I'm like, look, I, I mean, I try, I, maybe there is a site called mysite.com, but just don't contact them, please. Now, what I'm going to share with you is I'm going to click right here. So what that did is that, oh, actually, I didn't mean to put, I didn't mean to put the, uh, the text for that, I actually meant to put the email address. So my mistake on that, I meant to say contact me. I wasn't paying attention. I actually meant to, I meant to tie it to this actually. So my mistake on that. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna cut that. And I'm just gonna put that right here. Now, if you're wondering why that doesn't look like a hyperlink is because in my page properties command J, remember I set the link up to be, uh, I set the link up to be black, so that might be extremely confusing for you. So we're gonna change it again as page properties, command J, so let's change that to a different color. Let's change it to a more friendly link color. Okay, actually let's make it a, you know what, just let's make it white. I think that would probably look great. Good. Now, if a person doesn't understand that that's a hyperlink, well, I'm gonna go to live view for a second, and I'm gonna say testing server, yes, and you will see that in fact it is a hyperlink because I have a finger tool. Now here's what I want to share with you before we move forward. I want to pre-populate this. So therefore when somebody clicks on it, it automatically pre-populates the subject line. So here's how we do this. We just click right down here under the link property power and we put it in the question mark as in query. And it's this simple, subject, spelling subject does help though, subject equals, and then just point old simple English. I need more info on your website. Return. Okay, so let's understand what we just did. So we now made changes. I'm gonna to go to Window, Files. We now made changes to our existing index page. We physically made changes to that, which is this page right here. So now if I go back to, I'm gonna close the window, Command Shift F, Macintosh, Control Shift F for Windows. So now if I go to File, File, Preview and Browser, Firefox, Testing Server, yes, Dependent Files, we still don't have any, no. So now I have made my welcome website page. 
Now, this could be as sophisticated as you want it, but we're just keeping this real simple. But here's the cool part that I want to share with you. Now, when I click on this, this is going to launch my email program and it's going to pre-populate, I need more information on your website. So how cool is that? Okay, so in our next video, we will set up the FTP server. Um, I'm sorry, we'll set up the cPanel of my site and start building our database for our new login password protected form. So stay tuned.